Indians once told me that our happiness comes from the respect we pay to the land we walk on, the animals we coexist with, and the God we owe it all to. My name is Jamila Jenna, and I was born in the Eastern Cape. It's my first time at this marine protected area and I'm both nervous and excited about this journey. This MPA is the narrowest in South Africa and is a sanctuary for large mammals such as bottlenose dolphins and humpback whales. Its coral reefs are teeming with life its indigenous forests with diverse ecosystems and rocky shores that are captivating for scientists. Oyster, mussel and fish species which the MPA protects are also the neighboring community's food and livelihood. The proclamation of a more representative network of MPAs in our waters is a great passion of mine. But my biggest interest is to find out more about the coastal communities that live adjacent to the Tlulega MPA. Kulish <laughs> Sabes Loba in Sandy, Sloba, Conke, Rofuga, Swam Taraji, Swamangomne. One is in five, what you reserve. As open as Ranyan, a banana could bound out of the upper and fell it up. In a child reserve, we love that change that was part of the man. Six to six foot. Into a basin, I ask him. Pia gave us again some in what you will gain a cage in Cousin Gainab. It's in the four choices. to go to the passport. Bafuga to go to the passport. I come to go to the passport. I come to go to the passport. I come Abasadi, when my image is going to enter, the Malayanacha reserve, not as he turned it. As I learn more about the history of marine protected areas, I am conflicted. Advocating for a conservation system that brought great hurt to the adjacent community just felt wrong. To ease this brewing conflict, I approached the Oceanographic Research Institute, who are leaders in marine research. I spoke to Dr. Bruce Mann, who studies influence monitoring and management of land fisheries and marine protected areas as a fisheries management tool. All our protected areas now get proclaimed under the National Environmental Management Protected Areas Act. The first criteria that we look at is biological criteria. There's a multitude of habitats that's unique to that area. So you've got perhaps estuary, you've got rocky shore, you've got sandy beach. But then we run what's called a costs layer. So we try and look for areas that are far away from high pressure areas of people so that we impact as few people as possible with the proclamation. It's absolutely essential to bring stakeholders into the whole process of trying to look at where we establish MPAs and how we manage them so that we, we benefit people as much as possible. 
For years, the Tulega community had customary systems of harvesting invertebrates. They believed that the ocean would speak to them through the tides when it was safe to harvest. Unfortunately, many of our protected areas are selected in areas where the population living there is some of the poorest communities in the country. They don't have income, so they are forced to harvest marine organisms, whether they are mussels or rock lobsters or oysters or limpets. To try and manage that in the protected areas, we'll take the MPA and we'll zone it into areas that are controlled zones where they're allowed to fish and, and dive, areas that are controlled pelagic zone where they can dive and only catch pelagic fish, but they leave the bottom fish, and areas that are, are deep and offshore that they don't really use are no-take areas that we protect in perpetuity to allow the fish stocks in that area to, to cover, come back and recover. To dismiss the history of MPAs is to dismiss the solutions to some of these problems. To abandon the stories of those who have experienced these injustices is to silence the voices of change. Because the Eastern Cape is the land of my birth, and as surely as the waves crash against the shore, so does my heart if I think about our people losing love and respect for all of this. But I feel that change is coming and that with a combination of science, indigenous knowledge and a collaborative approach, the ocean that I so love will be protected for both the creatures who live in it and the people who depend on it.